Good morning, everybody. And I think uh, we, what we witnessed here today is probably the start of India becoming a product nation. I'm not sure if everybody understands the, the step, the small step that we have taken here today for everybody and if, uh, it might be just a launch of a small school, uh, small, uh, school kit with robotics. But what I see here with QTPI doing is we are headed towards building one of Asia's biggest and probably the world's biggest product nation. So I think I would like to commend QTPI over here because I have seen them uh, past a year and a half now, I guess. And I've seen them mature as a product company and I've seen them mature as businessmen too. So before they were very passionate of only building a very important product. But now I've uh, seen them, they've become a little commercial, which is good for the industry and which is good for QTPI as well. And more importantly, what is good is that they are able to make their products more affordable at the school level because this is where the foundations are laid. And I'm sure that with the kind of thinking the uh, founders of QTPI come with, and uh, actually I didn't know that you had two women directors. Uh, it would have actually, if you had uh, probably told earlier, you would have qualified for a higher fund also. But I'm not sure if uh, that was revealed in... Uh, it's, never uh, it's never too late. Uh, so you'll have to talk to the director now. I'm sure that uh, since she herself is also very passionate about uh, driving women entrepreneurship, I'm sure she can find something out of the box for that. But what uh, basically QTPI is doing here today is phenomenal because you're taking now, you're taking the thought process of innovation, the thought process of building, the thought process of tinkering at the most basic level that's at the school level. Because uh, whenever I speak to their founders, they say that, I ask them, why don't we go to colleges? They say that, no sir, they're already corrupt, their mind is already corrupted and they don't, their willingness to learn is ended as engineers. So I think well, that's when I started realizing that uh, Maybe they are right and we need to breed this school of thought at the most basic level that's probably at the primary school or the high school level. And I'm sure that the way the, the founders are so passionate about uh, bringing science, bringing innovation, bringing robotics, bringing this entire thought process at the school level, I'm sure that they will, they will have a great future. So congratulations to QTPI firstly. And also, I think I should also congratulate uh, the director Vinod Priya, Mr. Radha Krishna, Satya, and everybody, the whole team, the startup cell uh, over here who recognizes such uh, startups and have been, I think you've been funded 20 lakhs by the government earlier. Yes, so and I think probably you should apply for Unnati for a double funding. Because I'm sure that uh, if you go ahead with uh, this uh, social impact analysis, I'm sure the impact will be huge. And uh, the government is doing more than it can to ensure sure innovation is bred at the bottom of the pyramid. The government is hand-holding things. So a lot of people think that government does not do such things. So you'll be quite surprised in the last one year we have helped more than 400 startups. That is once, more than one startup a day. And we have funded more than 250 startups. So whatever the government of India says, Startup India, Stand Up India, they all happen in Bengaluru itself. So you see very rightly the word innovates at Bengaluru. And we are the fourth biggest innovation hub and the second biggest technology hub in the world. And I'm sure it is because of young, dynamic and energetic and innovative, uh, uh, disruptive people like the QTPI Foundation that helps Bengaluru maintain its st high standards of innovation. So uh, congratulations to the entire QTPI team and also to the government of Karnataka for identifying uh, such startups that help us make ourselves a very proud product nation in the, in the future. Thank you so much for having me on.